Hi everyone, welcome to the WSO2 Identity Server User Session Management screencast. My name is Pamoda Vimalasiri from the WSO2 Identity and Access Management team. I'll be taking you through the User Session Management service released with the latest version of the WSO2 Identity Server. The user session management service adds the capability to monitor and terminate an active session of users. Users can view the session information and terminate the required session via the user dashboard. Administrative users are authorized to monitor and terminate the sessions of the other users. Users can also call the REST APIs to get the list of active sessions and terminate all the session or a specific session that belongs to them. Before 5.9.0 release, the session management feature requires the WSO2 IS Analytics Server to monitor the sessions. But now, with the WSO2 Identity Server 5.9.0, session management is handled from the Identity Server itself, thus the deployment is made easier. The session management service will give the information such as IP address and user agent of the sessions. From this information, you can easily identify the active sessions and terminate them if they are not required anymore. Administrative users have the authority to monitor the sessions of the other users and terminate the sessions if required. Therefore, if the sessions are compromised, admin users can terminate the sessions. Let's look how this actually works with a simple demonstration. In this demonstration, I will show you how you can monitor the session information with the WSO2 Identity Server. I have created the user with the username Alex in the WSO2 Identity Server. I have also registered two sample applications, Pickup Manager and Pickup Dispatch as service providers in the WSO2 IS. WSO2 IS will authenticate the users to these applications. Let's authenticate the user Alex to these applications through different browsers. The user Alex logs to Pickup Manager using the WSO2 credentials from the Chrome browser. The single sign-on functionality is enabled across the applications. Therefore, the user can have the same session for the other application Pickup Dispatch. Then Alex logs to Pickup Manager using the WSO2 credentials from the Firefox browser. Now Alex has two active sessions in the two browsers. Let's log in to the user dashboard from the same user Alex. In the portal, my login sessions gadget displays the session information of the logged in user Alex, the username, IP address and the user agent of the active sessions are listed here. Alex can terminate any of the active sessions. Let's log into the user dashboard from an administrative user. In the portal, admin users are authorized to access monitor users login sessions gadget. This gadget has the capability to search the active sessions of the other users. Admin can enter the name of the user and then list of active session information for that user is displayed. From the listed sessions, admin can terminate the sessions required. Let's terminate the session of Alex in the Firefox browser. Once the terminate action button is clicked, there is a confirmation message. You can click OK to proceed. Now, if we go back to the login page of the application, you can see that the session for the user Alex is terminated and it is required to log in again.
In this way, active session information can be monitored from the user dashboard. End users have the option to monitor their active sessions via the user dashboard or by calling the REST APIs. I will be using the Postman client to call the REST APIs for this demonstration. The session management service has three endpoints as of now. The three endpoints retrieve the session information, terminate the specific session and to terminate all the sessions of the logged in user. For this demonstration, I have created few more sessions for Alex. First, let's call the REST API to retrieve session information. All these APIs are secured and here we will use the authorization header. Similar to the session information displayed in the dashboard, the JSON response contains the same information. There are two delete APIs. One is to terminate only a specific given session and the other one is to delete all the sessions of the logged in user. From the session information retrieved, let's get the session ID and terminate that session. The response of this API will be 204 no content when the terminate action is successfully performed. When the session details are retrieved again, it will list only one session. If we call the delete API without specifying a session ID, all the active sessions owned by the logged in user will be terminated. If the session details are retrieved again, there will be no sessions listed. The response is an empty object. Thank you for checking out the demo on user session management with WSO2 Identity Server. You can download the latest version of WSO2 Identity Server. Try this out and let us know what you think.